what have you actually been doing for Tailwind to like to to actually cut down on expenses uh, internally for the company? Yeah, I think uh, so. We uh, I think the the plan that's uh, set out and being shared is is a really great place to start. But I think realistically, I've I've spent the last two or three weeks going down our um, sort of list of vendors, listing them out. What's the name? How much mm -hmm. are they? Uh, how when's the next time we need to pay them? Um, and how much is that? And then I'm essentially putting them into three groups. So there's the must-haves, uh, the ads value, but need to review. And then there's the don't need, and we basically should, we, we don't need this thing uh, and it's an oversight or we need to do something about it. So, and like how I'm approaching those just as a very high level is like the must-haves, what can we do to save some money here? Um, how can we, uh, it comes down to uh, how many people are using the tool. We're, you know, we're a, a fairly sizable company in terms of how many people are, you know, around mm -hmm. the fifty person mark. So, not everybody needs a license for everything. So, it, it's simple things like that where we can sort of cut cut back as much as we can. Um, but they're must have. So we can't turn those off. They're the fundamentals of how we run our business. So it's it's more uh, damage limitation or, or trying to make sure we're making the most of those. Uh, the next category, I would say the ads value uh, is what we've been sort of talking about is they're the ones that if I turn them off, that's going to, they're, they're driving value to our business. So mm. uh, it could be a software, it could be um, a, a contractor or someone we're using um, around our marketing, around design and things like that. So they are things that if we took that away, it would have a long term impact on our business we might not see it overnight but it's something hmm. if you, you don't just cut away at that because it will impact your business at some point um, and so it's going through those that's the most difficult bucket to sort of work your way through because there's a lot of uh, you know um, weighing things up against each other and then the third bucket was very simple um, quite a cathartic experience <laughs> in terms of just going through and, and switching off vendors and uh, you know it's it, it, there are things that we just didn't need to to spend money on and like a lot of that was around again simple stuff around users but um do we need mm -hmm. 10 people with this license do we just need one person so some of them wasn't even it wasn't even just cancelling it but um it's reducing down to the minimum plan um what else it's duplication of uh we had three softwares that we use for running meetings. Mm -hmm. We had two for scheduling meetings. So it's it's just a it's probably a a good thing we should be doing. And I've now put this on my plan for every six months just to review our list mm -hmm. of vendors, and try to uh, reduce or eliminate anything where we're duplicating. And we're a growing business with a lot of people, um, and we use a lot of technology. So. One software might be great now, but in six months time, it kind of becomes obsolete because we need something bigger or has different functionality. 